Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use OptiScaler XTSS Subscaler and XTSS Frame Generation in Silent Hill 2 Remake running on my RAW Gala that comes with Windows 11 AMD Radeon 780M GPU Now the lighting in this game is completely broken on RAW Gala this is due to Unreal Engine 5 global illumination bug that occurs on Windows PCs with integrated GPUs so if your PC has an iGPU in game lighting won't be rendered properly on it Good thing is that we can fix this issue by installing D3D12 proxy. Now the thing is, with this latest OptiScaler test build version 0.9, the older method of simply using a file name other than DXGI for OptiScaler injected DLL file is not going to work with D3D12 proxy. What we need to do is inject OptiScaler into the game as an ASI file, use an ASI loader, then we will be able to use both OptiScaler mod and D3D12 proxy to fix the broken lighting. I tested the game at launch, suffered from performance issues. It still suffers from performance issues, traverses, stutters are present. I'll be honest, would not recommend running the game in DirectX 12 mode on low-end PCs. Better to run the game in DirectX 11 mode and then use DXVK to translate DirectX 11 calls to Vulkan. This will help in reducing the stutters. Unfortunately, DirectX 11 mode does not support FSI and XCSS frame generation. In DirectX 11 mode, you can use AFMF 2.1 or LSFG 3.1 for frame generation. Completely up to you. The guide which I'll be showing you in this video can be used on more powerful PCs. First, just download D3D12 proxy from GitHub. Only use it if your PC has an integrated GPU, otherwise skip this step. Expand the asset section, click on the dot zip link, version 0.04. Download Ultimate ASI Loader from GitHub. Again, I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section expanded. Click on Ultimate ASI Loader x 64zip link. Download OptiScaler's test build version 0.9.0 preview 1 from OptiScaler's Discord server. I'll give its link in the description. Click on the dot .cmc link here, archive file. First, I'll install D3D12 proxy. Open its archive file. Copy the two files present inside this archive file. Just need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open sh proto folder, binaries folder, win64 folder, paste the files there. Now I'll install ultimate ASI loader, open its archive file, copy this dll file, dinput it. Paste it in the same directory where you install d3d12 proxy. SH Proto Binaries Win64 right here. Now just change the name of the input.tll file to winmm.tll. WIN MM, that's it. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open the mods archive file and just copy the highlighted files. First we have OptiScaler files, XCSS files, don't need DirectX 11 version exclusive to ARC GPUs, fake NV API files, replace reflex with XCSS low latency mode, AMD Fidelity FX DX12, FSR 3.1, copy, open the games install directory, SH Proto folder, binaries folder, Win64 folder, paste everything here, replace, these are the files, now just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to optiscaler.asi change the extension name is already optiscaler dll dot asi yeah that's it ready to run the game adrenaline settings for the game free sync and vsync enabled I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install ally's latest official GPU driver that added support for Battlefield 6. Using a 28 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 28 watts. CPU boost disabled. Resolution 720p. Game is very heavy on the GPU. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. We'll be using Adrenaline's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Afterburner or RTSS can affect the functioning of OptiScaler mod. The mod even comes with its own performance overlay. I'll enable that as well. In game menu, the colors here are rendered properly. 
if d3 d12 proxy is not installed here the colors will look very bright display settings make sure screen mode is set to borderless required for using xcss frame gen this is 720p resolution ray tracing is off no fps cap applied vsync disabled super sampling set to dlss the yeah, optiscalar mode is working using the upscaler balance preset low graphics preset let on him there's james Open Optics Killer menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. I'll increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale. Value set to 1.1. Much better now. Upscaler, make sure it's set to XCSS on Ally. Version 2.0.2. Input TLSS. TXGI spoofing is on. Auto Explorer setting is on. Frame generation disabled for the time being. I'll enable Optics Killer's performance overlay. Expand FPS overlay section. Check this setting. FPS overlay enabled. Overlay type full plus graph. Save INI. Settings will get saved even after restarting the game. Mod settings close. These features are everywhere. Thick fog in this area. Fog is rendered properly. All thanks to D3 D12 proxy. Yeah, FPS here is close to 34. Check out the animation quality. Oh my god, spat something at me. <laughs> Vomit. Yeah, I was saying. Oh my god, she needs help. FPS <laughs> space within a range of 32, 34, take this. Oh, it's still live. Whatever this thing is. Now I'll enable XSS frame generation. Hitting the GP bottleneck here. Choppy animation quality. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source. Just select TLSSG via streamline as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Click on save INI. Close. Restart the game. Play. Now go to display and graphics settings. Frame generation setting will get unlocked. This is TLSS frame generation. Enable it. We are in, just open Optics Film menu, check this setting active under frame generation XCFG, game supports TLSS frame generation and a streamlined version newer than version 2, this is why DLSS G via streamline FG source option work, current streamline FG state it's on, frame time graph of Optics Killer became thick, XCSS FG is indeed working, check the debug view, you will see these purple sidebars, they are flickering. If XCSS frame generation is not working, these sidebars won't appear at all. I'll verify the status of XCSS features using XCSS Inspector app. Launch it, click on show all processes. Look for Silent Hill 2, the game which is running in the background. There it is, double click. XCSS frame generation context, it's running. XCSS low latency context. It's on, low latency mode, can see the valid frames, blue dots. Back to the game, check out the real world latency. Yeah, I can observe a small increase in latency, nothing extreme. I was expecting the latency to be much worse than this. FPS with frame generation 59, base FPS here was within a range of 30 to 34. Okay, I'll just use my gun. That creature <laughs> crawled away from here. Engage in combat. <laughs> it was about to spit that vomit on me. I was ready this time. Just sprint through this area. Expect a few traversal stutters. Oh my god, this thing. Mannequin waiting for me. So, good results produced by XCSS frame generation in this game. Not observing any coasting around James character model. Use my pipe. I think it's dead. Oh no, reload. 
एट द फर्स्ट पॉसिबल टाइम फिफ्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी एफ पी एस गेम जनरेशन स्मूथिंग इफेक्ट डज नॉट गेट डिसेबल एंड यूर लो ऑन हेल्थ दिस विनहेट लाइक इफेक्ट अपीयर्स अराउंड द एजेस ऑफ द डिस्प्ले गेम्स इंटरफेस इट्स नॉट फ्लिकरिंग एज वेल दैट्स इट विद वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू फाइंड इट यूजफुल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड हैव अ नाइस डे